Good day friends, welcome back to another Dragon Riders video. Um, I know that not all of you are rich in this game, so you don't all have the kind of money to buy. Just, just, just to buy as many chests as you want and get all of the loot that you want. Luckily for us poor people, actually I'm not that poor, but if you're poor, then luckily there's free chests all around the map. There's actually 25 of them that I've found and I've gone around the map. I think if I say a thousand times, I'm not even exaggerating. Um, so I I think I know all of the chests. Maybe I'm mistaking, but I've got this round. Um, I don't even know how to say it. The circle, the way that I go around the map every time in which I will be able to see every single spot where there's a chest and then I just repeat. Uh, and that way I just keep finding uh, a lot of stuff. So that's why I have this much stuff in um, Dragon Riders. It's a decent amount of stuff. A lot of it is just from these chests that I'm finding. Uh, for free so if you want a lot of chests for free i hope that this guide will help you find all of the 25 chest locations of course not all locations will have chests always there's only like maybe like five of them at all times so every time you find one i think another one spawns immediately i'm not really sure how many there are and if it works exactly like that but all spots can be three types of chests now i've drawn a little map and uh give me a second okay so here's a little map that i've drawn in microsoft paint i know it's very confusing so I don't think we will be using it today because it's very confusing but some of you it might make sense to some of you and this shows every single location of the chest so if you don't even want to watch this video you can just open this and if you know the map very well then you it will make it will probably make sense to you uh, but as I said every single location uh, can have a normal chest an epic chest or even a legendary chest the other chests that are in the game these two the dragon skin box and the gear crate they don't appear randomly on the map it's only these top three and if you're lucky you can find a legendary crate or chest and get some really cool stuff so i hope you will find that and i hope this guide will help you so let's just do my route and i hope this will help you find a lot of chests so first i go towards this little trade this orange trade tent which serves no purpose behind it you can find a chest if you're lucky, you might find your first chest there already behind the orange trade tent on the main central island that you spawn in. Then I'm going to the waterfall island first, the top one, which has a few trees on it. And a tree on the far left can have a chest below it. And then from here, I will be able to see past this little coin island. I will see an island in the distance, which can also have a chest on it. Then coming back from that, or just from being here, I can look down and see behind this rock here. And there can be a chest there as well, which would be the fourth one, I guess. So then the fifth and the sixth chests are really close together. Uh, the fifth one would be here in the middle. It would be next to this rock. And the sixth one is actually right next to it, but on the bottom of the lake. So they can be, one can be right here and one can be on the bottom of the lake. And if you're lucky, like in a video that you're seeing right now, you might be able to find them in both sp spots at the same time. So the next thing I do is I fly upwards towards this long island over here, but I fly really high. The reason for that is because so I can look back, because there can also be a chest on this tiny island that's really high up here with the coins around it. So that's why I fly this high when I'm flying towards this long island uh, to see if there's one and I can fly back if there is one. And if there isn't, then the next one that I will see is probably here on top of this island right here. Then there can be another chest back there on that island. And then there can be one right here behind this little rock right here. So then I'm going to fly so already sort of towards the lava island. But before I get there, I will look to my right to see if there's one below the leaderboard on the main island. And I look to my left where there's an island all the way in the distance which can also have a chest on it. Then, before I actually reach the lava island, there's one more place that I check because there's an, a spot right there on the main island. Uh, it's really hard for me to point at it, but it is right there below that flying island with the stairs leading up to it. Um, there can be a chest below it, but there's... But it's blocked by a lot of rocks from every direction. So that's why this spot, for me at least, it's the best spot to actually see it. So then we arrive at the lava island and there can be a chest right here as there is. And that 
that island over there always confuses me. You can't forget about it because right now I'm pretty sure I'm 99% sure there cannot be any chest there. But during Halloween there could be one. So that confuses me. Why did they choose to remove the chest on that island? I don't know. Anyway, we're just going to continue flying over this long island below here. Uh, it can have a chest uh, right there. And it can have a chest on this little hexagon. Uh, and it does have a chest right there. So those are the two spots right there. And then we can look at the main island again. From this angle we can clearly see that there's a chest right there. And then I'm going to look at this island here, which also has a leaderboard. And it has a little tiny hexagon next to it, which has this chest on it as well. Which has a chest spot, but right now it actually happens to have a chest as well. So then from here, you can just fly through the clouds if you want. Uh, grab some coins. And then here's another island which can have a chest. And that's almost all the chests. There's only six left, which are all on the snowy slash sheep island. Uh, which is here. So what you're going to do is you fly here at the bottom uh, floor, if you will, and you go into the cave, which has two spots that potentially have chests. One to the right here, and one to the left. And if you're lucky, there will be a chest in both spots. So then you go out of the cave, and you stay on this floor, and you look behind this rock right here, and there can be a chest right there. Then you can fly up, and there can be a chest right here. Then you fly up some more. This place doesn't have one, but right here there can be another chest next to all of these sheep that you have right here. And then the very last one is all the way at the top at the little sheep statue. I know I keep calling them sheep. They're probably goats, really. Um, and there can be a chest right here in front of it. There can be a chest right here. There isn't one right now. Oh, the sheep is trying to escape the dragon. Come on, come on, run, run for your life. He jumps off. <laughs> <laughs> crazy sheep why do they do that i don't know he would rather fall into space than to be eaten by a dragon anyway i hope this guide has helped you find all of the spots uh, i've shown my route of course after you reach the sheep statue what you have to do is just fly back to the middle you can fly down but i personally like to just stay high because i can look really far if you cannot look that far because your game settings are lower then maybe you want to fly down a little but i just sort of uh restart uh, the route I can see the orange building here and I like to stay high because you can just jump down But when you're new to the game, that's kind of tricky when you get better at the game It gets easier to just jump down try to land exactly on top of the chest um, Because of course the fastest way to travel in this game is by falling So you might as well stay high and jump down when you see a chest below you But it's one of the most awkward things when you miss and you just fall <laughs> you just fall into space or to your death i don't know i don't even know if this is space or just another dimension i don't know but i hope that this guide helped you find uh all of the spots if you know the map really well then i will try if i remember to put a link in the description to the image that i've drawn a little just a quick map that i quickly drew which shows all of the chest locations that i've shown in this video all 25 of them and yeah happy treasure hunting i guess uh personally i like to do this in a normal server right now because i'm recording i'm in like a private den private server thing which you can make for free by clicking this button here to the left um, but usually I'll do I do it in a normal service because then there's people and you can trade them and I actually really really love trading let's go back to a normal server and see if I can trade some people yeah okay so we're back in the normal world let's trade some people who wants to trade some cool stuff so yeah this is why I like to do this route um, in a normal server is because when you're on your own in your private server you have a higher chance of finding better chests of course because no one else is grabbing them but what you lose out on is potentially really really good deals and yesterday uh, again i had an amazing deal someone just traded me some amazing items um and yeah that's why i really love to trade and why i like to just do this route in the in a normal server with people in it but if you're really desperate for just a chest uh, like if you're really really trying to complete the quest the come on the chest uh the chest quest like this one then you might want to do it in a private server and by private server i just mean a den i guess in this game it's just called a den it's free you just click this button right here and you click create den and then you have your sort of your own world 
Okay, so I think that's really all there is. If you have any more questions, please leave them as a comment. Uh, I hope this helps you find a lot of treasure. I hope you get super rich in this game and maybe we can trade sometime. That would be really awesome. Uh, apart from that, I hope you're having an awesome day. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur.